Greetings my friends and welcome to Tiny Pandora Deep Shine Brush On UV Finish, the game changer. Uh, the kits are pretty straightforward and simple. The refill kit like this is with a brush and five cups and you really need your little cups and you get an ounce of uh, the Deep Shine and that goes really quite a long way. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised what you're going to get out of that. And you get an instruction card I made for you. Uh, if you want the Get Started Kit, uh, that's what you need if you don't have a light. But you know, a lot of people have a UV light, so that's why I offer them separately if you like. Try to get as good a deal as I could on all these things. Um, this is a nice one. It's a 6x6 six six inch curing deck. And, um, you know, it gives you plenty of space. So let me show you how to do it. It's, it's just so easy, you almost don't need me to show you how to do it. But I will anyway, because I, I want to show off how much I like it. So you put some in there, uh, just a little bit in your cup. You can always add more, but you don't want to have to pour it back in, you know, because you lose a little bit every time you got to pour it back in. See that little cap? It's got a cone in it, a cone-shaped top. It's called a phenolic lid, and that lid keeps it from leaking. So if it tips over or you store it on the side, it won't, uh, you know, leak, ooze out, because it's very slippery. Um, the slipperiness, I think, is what I like most about it, because it doesn't leave brush strokes. With your brush, I've had that one for almost the whole 18 months, and uh, I just wipe it off with a paper towel, and I store it in that piece of foil, and uh, that keeps the light off of it, and then I put it back in the little bag that comes with it. So see how it moves. It doesn't leave any brush strokes. And the main thing is just be gentle. Take your time. You don't have to do it real quickly or anything. Uh, I don't have trouble with bubbles, but keep your eyes open. If you see one, you can just smooth over it with a pad of your finger before you cure it. Now listen, if you're sensitive to, you know, like uh, um, chemicals, you should wear gloves or, you know, I touch it all the time because it's non-toxic, but I don't want you to, you know, to touch it. I don't want it to, to bother your skin. Okay, so I put that on there and that's it. There's not going to be any brush strokes and it's going to come out of there as shiny as it was when I put it in. I want to show you this uh, bracelet because it's, you know, it's not like the greatest bracelet, but I wanted to show you that it's made of souffle, and you know how souffle has that suede finish? Well, you know, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't, so you can put it over souffle to make it shiny because, you know, you can buff that, that clay until your arm falls off. It's never going to be shiny without some kind of coating. And it kind of sticks the metal on there, too. It kind of works like a glue. So um, I put these things in, and I take them back out, and just in the time that I had done that bracelet. This is already cured rock hard and it's just super shiny just like when we did it. So that's what sold me on this particular formula. It does everything that I need it to do. And I can even go on the inside here, see, and I can do the inside without it pooling up on the bottom. And when I was using my other, um, you know, resins, which I liked all of them, I liked all of them I tested, but they kept pooling up in the bottom and making a thick spot. This is kind of interesting, you know, um, this is just acrylic paint uh, over some Sculpey, let's see, white gold glitter. Sculpey Primo Accents White Gold Glitter is what that was. And it's super sturdy and stuff, I really like it. I baked it up and then I put the uh, acrylic paint over it and then just kind of, you know, wiped it off. And it gave that really um, deep look, but it, you know, had no shine to it. So. I uh, put the deep shine on it and it brings out all the colors, you know, and and the sparkliness of the uh, clay. So I don't know if you use those glitter clays, they're really pretty. I've kind of been kind of been using them a lot lately. Um, this uh, bracelet, by the way, is from um, one of my videos and it's using a lot of the liquid clay, Sculpey liquid, clear liquid. And uh, you can use a uh, deep shine over that. So, you know, some people didn't like the way it's set up a little bit matte sometimes. So you can uh, put deep shine over your liquid clay. And that's just a little piece of information for you. And this is some testing I did. Um, that's uh, silver is Kato. And the peach is uh, Fimo. And it doesn't peel off of them. And it's really uh, adhering well and shining well. So that was, that was a good thing. And now here's the bowl that I did. Um, this one looks like ceramic. 
when you see this one in person it looks like a, a white ceramic bowl that's just some antique gold textured on the outside and there's that one this came out perfect you know I was just so pleased with it I'll do a tutorial on that for you there's my bracelet and you know uh, the uh, deep shine has stuck my metal in there really well so I don't have to worry about it coming up kind of formed a bond with it and you can put it over the metal too it doesn't hurt it at all and then there's that last one it's all finished I put a second coat right across the top of that because I just like the depth of it I like the way it kind of filled it in a little bit and I just put a toggle clasp on it so you know these were all super fun to do and um, I know you have a lot of projects you want to make that you want to be shiny and I don't know how your hands are but mine are shot uh, my right hand I've got a, just the gobbit tendonitis there and I'm not really good at buffing and sanding anymore. I think it's beautiful when people do it, but you know, I can't do it. So um, that's why I spent the last 18 months trying to figure out exactly what kind of formula would do this for us. And you know, it does. So I'm elated. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you make a lot of things that you love. And I uh, hope you'll come see me over at tinypandora.com. Bye-bye.